People like to categorize things. It helps us wrap our minds around this complex world that we live in. When it comes to plants, range managers like to categorize them by life form. Almost anyone can recognize a grass with its linear leaves and fibrous roots. This one is a needle grass. We call wildflowers, like this geranium, forbs. Forbs are basically all the non-woody plants out here that aren't grasses. They tend to have broad leaves and a taproot. Now we come to the woody plants, the shrubs and the trees. What's the difference between a shrub and a tree? Height, primarily. But shrubs like this sagebrush also tend to have lots of branches starting really low on the plant without any one main stem or trunk. This aspen tree has a main trunk. It's also much taller and has much deeper roots than the sagebrush we just looked at. Knowing what life forms of plants are in an area gives range managers clues about how deep the soil is, how much moisture the area gets, and what kind of animals might be around. It helps us make sense of the wonderful complexity of the Wyoming landscape. From the University of Wyoming Cooperative Extension Service, I'm Zola Ryan.